Hey, what's going on YouTube? Marine X back at it again. Listen, I just got the Built Right Industries panels for my 2015 GMC Sierra. I wanted to show you guys a quick installation video of these panels. They just came out with these panels for my year of vehicle. So there probably isn't a video out there yet, but these things are made in America. They're patented. You know, they are made of steel. Let me show you quickly what comes in the box. So you get the actual panels, you get a, uh, so I ordered two panels, one for each side, obviously. They include their hardware for you to use. And they also give you some stickers and a little card of what to do if you have any issues. Now, for me personally, initially, as soon as I opened the box, I had an issue. And there's no video. Built Right has not done a video yet for my vehicle. So I decided, you know, let's just make one for us. Just in case you have a Silverado or a Sierra, I think this goes from 2008 all the way through 2019. They make it for standard bed. They make it for short bed. Let's just get right into the video, man. So you're gonna need a 3 8 inch wrench. You're gonna need a half inch wrench. You're also going to need a, I think this is a 532nd Allen key. And you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver so that you can pop out the old plastic for your truck and of course you need the hardware that is included now the only reason i was kind of able to guess how this goes because i do know that once you put this in the side of the bed this should hug or pinch the side of the bed and keep the panel on so let's see if we did this correct all right so i have the actual let's see if you can see that in the side here, I have the, the bolt going through, going through here, and it should hug up there and then pinch the side of the bed. Let's just see if that's correct real quickly. Put that in there like that. And... And for this, we use a half inch. You can kind of tell, you can kind of tell when you've gotten it on there because actually get it on more. It's kind of beginning to tighten up and it kind of lets you know that it's in that channel. So I'll just keep going with it until it pinches all the way and now it's starting to tighten so now I could tell that I got that right all right so after you get the the top channel on there my assumption is this little horseshoe looking thing that they provide you I think that you slip this here and it comes around and I guess it bolts here that's the only thing that would make sense because you can't remove the factory tie downs. Well, you can, but you got to damn near take the truck apart. So now the only other that seem to make sense would be these three eighth inch. And they give you some three eighth inch uh, nut and bolts here. So I'll just try to see if I can. These seem like these are the correct ones. All right, it is kind of beasty getting, uh, threading these through here. I'm gonna leave this loose because on this other side, I have to connect both panels together and I just wanna have a little bit of play to do that. All right, so you take this bolt, put it through there and same concept as the front. Just going to slightly tighten it enough to where it's almost touching the panel so that it'll be close enough to where when you begin to tighten it, it will grab the panel and begin to tighten. Put that in there. All right, so for this one, I'll use a half inch actual. Turn it down low, make sure I don't 
tear this thing up. So I'll bring it to 16 and I'll put it on low. Here we go. All right, so I got that just tight enough where I can still, I can still play with the other side. I need enough leverage to be able to do that same hook concept that I did on the first side. So I think for this side, I climb into the back of the truck. I need to do the same hook and loop little thingy that we did on the first side. So bring this in. All right, so those are just hand tight for now. What we're gonna do is take these little, take these last little three bolts that they include in the package. Those are for the 532nd Allen key. So right in the middle there is where the panels meet together. So I'm gonna climb into the bed of the truck. It's probably a lot easier and faster to do without the cover on your truck. I personally am not about to take mine off. All right, so they've threaded inside of the actual panel where you would normally put a nut and bolt right there, it's threaded. What I'm gonna do is just thread these very loosely and I'm gonna keep the whole panel pretty loose. Now you have one more of those, kind of those pinch things or whatever. You're gonna take your flathead and you're gonna remove the plastic for the last tie down area so you can install an aftermarket tie down. Or I'm pretty sure when they sold these trucks, you could have bought it that way. And then they give you one more set of the bolt, the little doohickey. So get this bad boy in here. Keep it about right here. I think that'll be good enough. Let's try that. Let's try that first. All right. Let's see if this is real quick. That's good. You know, you have it here. You got one. You got those little horseshoe looking things. The three bolts I mentioned earlier, they go right here. And then you have one in the middle, the same thing down there. There's one at the top and another horseshoe thing. Once you have all of those in there and the panels on install and it's still pretty loose. All right, so after you get that down and you're ready to tighten, last thing you have to install, these little rubber stopper looking things, they keep the actual panel itself from moving. All right, so you see the panel is, is pretty stiff and you have to install those right here but now panel's pretty solid goes on there pretty easily all right youtube so that's it man i showed you basically how to install it i'm gonna go ahead and tighten this panel down the exact same process for the other side their mirror images from the 2008 to 2019 gmc sierra or chevy silverado 1500 this is for the standard bed. My assumption is that the installation is very similar for the short bed. I'm not sure, but hopefully this video was helpful. I'm gonna show you how I kit this out in future videos. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're not a part of the battalion, come on, join me, join me. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna kit this diamond back out as well. For those of you who've been here before, welcome back everybody else. Thanks for showing up. We'll speak soon.